Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins, this time without goofed up audio. Alrighty, when we left off, we had been right here. We were planning on getting further into the deep roads, and uh, as it is right now where we're sitting, we've only done about half of Keridan's Cross right here. And we're not going to go further because, well, <laughs> after we do this fight here, I guess. And, man, I'm so fast. <laughs> I am so fast with that ability on. All right, we're going to just take care of these guys. There we go. Down for you. Good. And you're down. Fantastic. Venom and death root extract. Okay. Now, the reason why we're going back is I have learned about a chest. A chest that can be used to store my stuff. That wasn't available in the base game. It was available as a DLC. It's mildly annoying that I find this out now on my other account. <laughs> my other account, my other character that I've been running by myself. But... I, the main reason I've been doing that is because this game is too fun. But, um, I haven't spoiled myself on anything else. I've only been doing basically the same path, but I did the DLC in question to get this chest and found out it was a thing at the end of it. The story is not all that special, so it's not going to hurt much but why are you heading back to the city we won't sodding find Bronca going that way I know that but we will get her soon right now we're dealing with other things in particular dealing with inventory management which has been difficult without somewhere to store stuff I want to keep. And this is where the DLC comes in. Because at the very least, they can help me with that. Now the DLC in question is Soldier's Peak. The place that I had put off going to for a while. Had I known, I would have went there sooner. But of course, hindsight is twenty twenty. Alrighty. Now, uh, we have a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to slowly whittle down. Um, Thal's blessing, you yeah, know. Um, fire arrow. There we go. It's a good spot to put that. Eventually, going to give that to her. Eventually, um, arrow fill Thasher. Why not? Screw it. Do that. Um, probably going to give her different stuff altogether but i'm not sure actually this is a, not too bad for her i <laughs> think about it medium armor won't be terrible light gloves are fine yeah this this will help her survivability at the very least yeah now this is fine pushback strikers that'll be for someone else okay um other than that uh yeah, I'm going to keep those. 
Uh, senior enchanter's robes. They're okay. Uh, black hand gauntlets were for spirit damage. Which, she doesn't have a lot of spirit spells, does she? She has arcane bolt. That's the only other real strong one I'm aware of. And regeneration. Uh, mass rejuvenation would be nice. Um, increase uh, mana and stamina regeneration. That's not necessarily what I was hoping for. Um, spirit stuff. Spirit stuff. Hmm. That's nature damage. But walking bomb is kind of cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to eventually do Affliction Hex. Eventually. Because that is extremely useful to be able to do to all enemies. But that will be later. Probably at the uh, conclusion of this DLC that I'm trying to do. So now, uh, some of the crap I'm holding on to. I don't think there's anything else that I'm holding on to that I don't want to. At least I'm not aware of. <laughs> not aware of. Uh, in sense of awareness. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all of this because the poison is only useful for melee weapons, I found out. So it's not even useful for what I want to do with it. And I also found out I can buy elf fruit. That I also found out. <laughs> so uh, now I feel less stupid for giving all of my elf fruit out. Uh, I'm a little annoyed that I'm going to be spending so much money. But there's not much else I can do about that. Uh, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Where is... That is a most offensive odor. And you're looking... Okay, I don't know why that got interrupted because of the gossips, but okay, whatever. Oh yeah, there's a Farron dude. Oh, you want to see some of the best pre Yeah, let's take a look at your previously owned stuff. Alright, um... Kunari Infantry Helmet. That's actually interesting. I didn't even know that there was a medium helmet version of it. Chevalier's Gloves, that ain't too bad. Some of these are surprising to see, considering. Why was I wearing Dwarven Heavy Armor? I'm confused now. I thought I was wearing... <laughs> ah, I thought I was wearing the uh, Chainmail. That's silly of me. Oh, well. Armor is fine, I guess. Not exactly what I meant, but okay. Um, hmm. Longrunner's cap? That isn't bad for him. Uh, need to get a different helmet on Morgan, though. Need to get a different hat for her. Okay, um, did I, I think I forgot to sell my junk. I, I got so interested in that that I forgot to sell my junk. I'm dumb. I am dummy, dumb, dumb, mick, dumb. Uh, dwarven smiths, oh, that's, that's nothing. That's worthless. Uh, that's, well, I mean, that proves that I can buy it right there. Um, not just from them, though. Uh, you don't have anything else I need, though, do you? No, you have this, and you have that. Those aren't too bad. That's good for Sten, I think? Pretty sure? Pretty sure. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. I think we're all good. Wait, what, oh, what did he see... have previously in junk? Okay. 
So I did have chain mail at some point. What, why did I? It's not, it's not, it's not important. I guess it's not important. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Weird options I have done besides. Uh, it is time to head over to Soldier's Peak. And we're going to meet someone who I vaguely remember meeting. Here we are. Soldier's Peak. Yep. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I know, I right? I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. Just admit it, you were lost a couple of times. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Uh-huh. Ah, we're here. Yeah, we are. So I'll follow you about, from a distance. This place has the stench of death. Mm -hmm. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Some people call this place the Lost Peak. Before King Merrick's decree, the last Grey Wardens of Ferelden lived here. <gasps> I just got chills. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I also realize I forgot to uh, swap out someone. Because uh, I am not using Ogryn for this. Nope. Indeed. Indeed. And yes. there we go. All good. Oh, there's a level up for not <laughs> is this for Alistair. God damn it. Let me go to Alistair. There we go. I was a little confused there for a second. Okay. Um upping his strength his dexterity as well, because he will need that for shield stuff. Um, assault, that would be useful. Uh, I went a little weird with some of my skills for him, and I feel bad that I did that, because <laughs> it was dumb. Uh, okay. Now that I've learned so much more about the game in my own time playing it. Um, hmm. This is probably for the best that will help him. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Where's Shale? Where's everyone? Where did everyone go? Okay, I guess because I have the party now, everyone else disappeared. It's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. Enchantment? Yes, some enchantment. enchantment. Yes, enchantment. Okay. Um, Mark's blade has the hail rune. That's fine. I gave that to Sten. Good. Um, it's good that I have that. Um... Maybe not cold, but... Ooh. That's actually... No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, he's got the hail one. That's fine. Uh, maybe chance of paralysis. That would be useful for... Uh, that'd be useful for our tank for this instant. Um, let's give that for damage against the dark spawn and there we go that's good that's good good enough anyway sure yes yes you. i'm fine thank you let's see wow how much i have sold to him over the long time <laughs> we've been doing stuff wowzers uh, okay uh any i do have some Heavy chainmail, silverite. That isn't terrible. Uh, I simply want it because the having talents cost less would be good. Uh, and I could just give the armor to 
Yeah, I could just give the armor to... Yeah, okay. All right. Um, heavy chainmail. Please tell me I have the chain heavy chainmail boots somewhere. Please tell me I have them somewhere. Please. Uh, I can't see them. Please tell me I have them somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. I got the gloves here, but I need the boots. That's what I need. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, the crow dagger is now silverite. It went up to silverite in the time. Oh, my God. I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> okay, it was not. It definitely wasn't that when I last had it. That is for sure. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so many. So many of these things are not the way I remember leaving them. Oh, man. Daggers, silverite. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. I'm not going to be able to find it. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, distillation agent. I need a couple of those. I need a little more than a couple of those. That'll be fine. Um, how many flasks do I still have in my inventory? 64. I should be fine. Be fine. The distillation agent I should be fine with. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I can at least sell the heavy chainmail. And get this out of junk. <laughs> Your friends are formidable yes, you? yes, 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 yes. Sell the other one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's going to take a longer time than I thought. Because I'm going to have to be fighting to get my stuff back. The good stuff for me. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Much better. And I can give... Good stuff to Alistair. Why did, why did he get... Why did he get that? Why did I give him that? Oh, because he needs higher strength for the heavy armor and he doesn't have that. That's why. Oh, my lord. Oh, my Atlanta. Okay. Maybe it's better just to give it to Ogryn for that. Oh my gods. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Okay, let's look at Sten. He can't wear the armor here, but he can wear this, which is something, I guess. How is it the heavy chainmail boots always end up being the thing I can't freaking get to work? Why is that? Why is that a thing? Oh, well. Either way. Doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It ain't too bad. Um, nope. Pushback strikers. That actually would be great for him. Um... Yeah, the, yeah, no, they're, they're better. Okay, I'm just going to toss that then. Uh, boy. <laughs> this is just inventory management, the episode now. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. But, hey, there's also level ups I can do. <laughs> Might as well get those out of the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Um... The fucking smirk on Zevran every time I see his portrait. Oh my god. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Why am I doing that? No. No. I'm dumb. Uh, maybe one in Constitution. That'd be decent. 
Uh, yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, skill in... Maybe not survival. Uh, he's good in poisons. Let's keep that the way it is. Tactics, sure, why not? Um, talents, I can give him multiple talents, actually. That's probably a good one for him. Uh, coup de gras, that's actually probably really good for him. Um, automatic backstabs. Oh, that'd be so good, but he doesn't have the lock picking. Like, <sighs> okay. Um, that would be useful. And I already have that myself, don't I? I would hope so. I think I do. And Punisher... Yeah, let's do Punisher. There we go. That's good enough. Um, I'm going to move these to the top. Because these are kind of important. If I don't have them. Uh, this one I'll change. But that'll be off camera after I get everything else set up. Um, let's look through everyone who needs a level up. Shale needs one. Okay. Wow, her constitution is high. <laughs> Whoa. I don't remember making it that high. <laughs> All right. Um, there we go. That That's good. Um... Sten needs a level up. Oh, needs like three. He's okay. Um, put that to thirty-four. Um, put that to twenty. And spread out the other points to those. Okay. Learn one there. That's good. Three talents. Shattering blows. That's probably good. Um, critical strike I know is good, but I'd rather give him death blow first. Uh, I can't do that yet because he doesn't have the strength for it. Let's see. I want to say... Do Sunder Armor. That's a good one. Okay, and... Level up for Piff! Three of them. <laughs> Holy crap. I have neglected a lot of my characters. <laughs> Characters. That's what I'm figuring out. Holy crap. Alright, uh... There we go. One more in willpower. Looks good to me. And... That would be useful. Uh... That would also be useful. Um... Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's good. And I think that goes through everyone. It did. Good. Good, 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 good. Alrighty. And with that done, I'm going to call it all good. Actually, it's a little, just a little, little. I know, I know. I just said I was done. But it'll be a little inventory management. I am impressed. My thanks. You're welcome. Uh, search for the true prophet. I'm pretty sure those two are good for something else entirely. That I can sell. This I kind of should sell. <laughs> and that I can sell. Okay. Um, other than that, I think we're all good. Oh, Sten gets minor strength. Cool. 
didn't think that that would happen. I didn't think I would get that high that quickly. But hey, I'll take it. Um, so I was talking about better helms for Morrigan, and here they are. Um, none of them have armor, but... I kind of want to go with Enchanter's Arming Cap. Yeah, there we go. So we'll sell one of these and two of these and sell all the other junk that I threw into the junk pile. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. Hopefully, hopefully, when I say we're good, we're actually good. I can't see too much else wrong with what I, we got. Okay. All right. Let's go. Yes. Uh, I was at the menu. I'm a dumb. Uh, also, I might be able to talk this guy into doing the thing, which gives me a little XP, which may help my... Oh, boy. Might help my leveling process. Ooh, more bandits. Wahoo. Oh, my goodness. And I'm dead. I didn't expect that at all. Oh, boy. Oh, man. And... <laughs> Okay. So it turns out all of that inventory management I just did, uh, <laughs> it's no longer a thing because, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh boy. <laughs> I have wronged the ship so badly that while trying to right it in the right direction, I screwed up and died. <laughs> that's that's where we are right now. You know, screw it. Screw it. We're walking in. We're walking in. Fuck everything. There we go. Uh, get her all skilled up. Get you reset on that. Get you set up for your stuff. There we go. And let's just go. Screw it. Let's just go. Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the king's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What, what was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. She does that. How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. I mean, the world is full of mysteries. Yes, Warden. It is full of mysteries. The question is, will we survive the ones that are here? And I am not holding my breath on that, because I have fucked up so badly. All right. All right. So far, so good. I beheaded a corpse. That's... Well, I mean... Oh, great. We're fighting warden skeletons now. That's, that's great luck. 
At least I have <laughs> enchantments against the undead on my sword. <laughs> Cuz uh, we're going to be fighting a lot of them. All right. And the statue about the ancient history. And there's more skeletons to fight. Because of course they are. And some of that counted as contact even though I wasn't next to it anymore. That's a weird thing. That, but I'll take it. And Warden Master Scout. Take you. All right. And you're down, and you're eventually going to be down. And we're good. Finally. Antique Warden Crossbow. That's at Iron Bark for now. All right. Okay. Now that all of that's done, we can just move on to the looting. But, uh, yeah. That's basically what we're going to be facing here. A lot of undead. A lot of undead. So we're going to be needing to be equipped for that. Luckily, I'm pretty sure I already am with my sword and everything else and the fire and we should be good. But... Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure if I should bring Alistair with me because Ogren is pretty well suited as a tank anyway. I mean, it's about as much as he can be, but nonetheless, he is. I just have to turn on Berserk every other fight but it's fine the men's morale is low my spells are of no use in this matter commander there is more to leading men than sorcery averna i will remind them that they're wardens men i won't lie to you the situation is grim our forces outnumbered our bellies empty and our hearts are sagging but we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil. That we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Mm-hmm. King Arland was a tyrant? Not much is known of King Arland. The war of succession that followed his death, now that was a piece of work. Lasted Whoa. nearly a decade, and almost burned Denerim and the palace to the ground. Loads of history was lost. But maybe there's answers to that inside. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. I dropped a lot of frames there, and I apologize. I wasn't sure why. Actually, it kind of spiked out of nowhere. So, uh, if most of that was lost, I apologize. I have no idea what happened. Literally none. It spiked and then it stopped. Like, it came out... I don't know. Like I said, it, it's over and done with now, but whatever frames ended up lost, I do apologize for. <laughs> Statement of Defiance. Uh, I know what that is. Um, that's going to be a long read if I bother to read it right now. So I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is get at this arcane horror. And I'm stuck. Uh, 
Okay. I can't heal. I can't move. I'm just kind of stuck here. Okay. All right. Whew. That's one of the things I hate. <laughs> it's when I get stun locked into a place and then I can't do anything. <laughs> All right. A lot of these codex entries give you a little bit of the backstory as to what happened here. Commander Athlon. There we go. Go. Good. Take you out. There we go. And you're finished. Luckily, because of how we're equipped, this is going to go a lot faster and a lot easier than <laughs> when I was doing it. Freeze bomb. Freeze wall. Warden's longsword. Silverite. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually pretty good. I don't need it, but it's pretty good. All right. Um... I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get new chainmail stuff. That's annoying to me. <laughs> it's annoying to me, but it'll be fine. If anything, hopefully we get it from here. All right. Not. That's not necessarily what I meant, but okay. <laughs> meant new heavy chainmail. Damn it, game. All right. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay, so moving on, and moving on to the kitchen where iron bark wasn't really all that worth it going in here. <laughs> Toss that in the junk, okay. Oh boy, my inventory is going to fill up before I even get to a significant spot. All right. There we go. We're doing pretty well. All right. And the demons are gone. Whew. Good. Good, 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 good. More of these. And then a gold ring. A little surprised by the gold ring, but okay. Uh, get rid of that. Gold ring. I guess we'll give that to Lelia. <laughs> or something. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't even planning on giving rings to anyone, but okay. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. This book is badly burned. You can make out a word here and there, and that's all. And then this. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by? Another one. Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Maybe there are other records. We can only hope. Yeah, that's all we can do is really hope. All right. And I can give the backstory after we're finished with all of this area. Uh, how's my inventory looking? Uh, 58 out of 80. That ain't too bad. So, uh, head to the second floor. It's a small area. It's a very small area in the grand scheme of things. Also, look at that. Does that not look evil? Does that not look foreboding? Does that not tell you all you need to know about what's going on here? Some fucked up shit happened? 
Oh boy. Make them pay for every inch, man. And Hold the flank. some of the noises Honest, are muted for some reason. So sound has glitched out. <laughs> Andraste's blood. What? More of Ernest. Whatever it takes. Most of this is supposed to have sound. <laughs> With the actions, but it's not playing for some reason. <laughs> it just sounds and looks weird. No, I command you, fight the king's men. Fool, so much death, suffering, and oh yes, blood. Mm -hmm. The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. Avernus! So Avernus screwed up. What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. Brought in too many demons and tore the veil. <laughs> Why can't the death stay in the crown? Because that's kind of not what they do. Okay, time to kill more dead wardens. Time to kill more of them. And time to kill the rage demon. And now they're alive again. So now I have to kill them again. And then a greater rage demon, because that is a thing. And they are going to die unless I help them. There we go. And there we go. Okay. This fight is going to last way too long if I don't kill this thing. Summon demons. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. And my grandmother, she knew. I mean, she was fighting for her life. I believed that my family was better than that. But answers may lay up ahead. That they might. That they might. Vaz. Potion, that's good. Rage demon. Winter's breath. Interesting. What is Morgan currently equipped with? Winter's Breath is obviously cold. Cold resistance, cold damage, and radiates cold. Hers is the oak branch that does magic, constitution, and nature damage. Hmm. She doesn't have anything... Yeah, that's hers is spirit damage. Okay, well, um... That makes... This slightly better. Because it does more damage. Does penetrate armor further. There's a little more range, a little more spell power. But it's all f configured for cold. Hopefully we find gloves that will help with cold. Just add to her cold damage. Because if we're going to be doing this, we might as well. Huh. Actually, what spells does she have available anyway? Winter's Grasp. Flame Blast. Uh, yeah. Just make her prioritize cold, I guess. That's all we can do. Charming as always, Ogren. Okay, uh, shrine, and I saw something about Raspberry Jam? Alright, and down they all go. 
I was correct. I saw something about raspberry jam. Yeah. I didn't get to read that the <laughs> other time through here. Well, um, hmm. Commander's Quarters. Hmm. Interesting. And there's a marker in that room. Extra interesting. I wonder what that means. I know what it means, but we're not going to talk about that. Because right now my inventory is full as all hell and I need to get rid of it. So. Uh, weird. Huh. I thought I'd be able to do that. Guess not. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because I uh, still need to do editing and all of that. So, there's that. And uh, <laughs> hopefully this time the microphone isn't broken. Ha <laughs> ha! But uh, also there's, you know, other things I need to take care of. Also, figuring out why that spike in disk activity happened that caused all those drop frames so thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see you all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying to get my inventory situation solved but also ending up having to mess around more with my inventory situation and uh, hopefully I'll have it solved by the end of next episode and uh, also have uh, other things going for me all fixed up. Either way, it's going to end soon. But uh, yeah, we'll also figure out the story behind Soldier's Peak and what isn't obviously apparent, I will let you know for you.